Hi guys, it's me, Tori, and today I wanted to share with you a little bit about the supplies I use when I create my artwork and why it's important to use top quality supplies when creating your pieces. So my favorite pieces are um, Golden Paint. I have some here. I use their liquid body and I also use their heavy body. I have just started also using their new product as well. And sometimes I mix the two together. I also use a lot of gel medium. Because I'm constantly creating artwork on raw canvas, I need my like painting, um, blah, my paints to be more liquid so that um, the canvas doesn't eat it up so quickly and it actually spreads a little smoother. Um, I also use raw canvas over primed and it purely is just an aesthetic thing. Um, primed canvas makes a lot more sense for the longevity of your artwork. I'm not saying that the raw won't maintain the piece, but it's um, built to last. And uh, the primed canvas works really well with like oil paints and acrylics as well. I personally just love the way the raw prime looks, uh, the raw canvas looks, and I like the earthy texture that it has to it. Um, as you can see, I don't always put a background in my artwork. Uh, so I just find that the raw creates that really nice feeling that I'm trying to emit with my work as well. So um, I also have some, what do I also have in here? I also have Liquitex in here as well, which I use on occasion, but um, I'm more of a golden paints gal. I do have their light body as well, their liquid body. Um, and the reason why I prefer golden over Liquitex is literally the range of color, even though Liquitex has a lot of great colors. Um, I just like the way golden feels. Uh, the heavy body Liquitex, this guy, will spread a little smoother than my golden heavy body, but um, it's purely preference. They're both really great. Um, I know personally that golden is top of the line. It's the best of the best when you're playing with acrylics. And so um, I made that switch to top of the line when I wanted to take my art more seriously and I wanted to take my career more seriously. I wanted my supplies to last and I wanted to use quality products because it allowed me to charge more for my artwork, but also I just felt like I was creating more of a masterpiece at the time. I started with student grade and I would encourage anyone who's just starting off to use student grade acrylics um, or oils. I actually have student grade oil here as well because I'm just starting to play with it and I didn't want to like, I don't want to invest in something that I may or may not like. But when you're just starting out, um, supplies can be expensive. And so um, the investment that you put into your artwork while you're selling it or not selling it um, kind of just plays into you know the products you're gonna use. That's why I was using student grade for a long time because it was literally cheaper, but then it made me feel like I was cheapening my artwork in the long run. It sort of cracked after a while, the paint would after it dried. And again, I'm, I'm building something that I want to last and it's my trademark on the world and so to me it just felt appropriate to start using higher quality acrylic paints um when it comes to paint brushes i'm a you know i try to be vegan and plant-based so i use acrylic um, and synthetic based brushes i use a lot of these thin brushes and i go through them quite quickly because the edges do sort of um spread after a while as you can see here's one that used to be like that and now it's not or here, this is a great example. <laughs> um, it's important to me that the brushes are really clean so I get clean lines on my canvases. So I do usually buy brushes every time I buy supplies. Um, but they aren't expensive. Um, again, you can buy a brush cleaner. I do for my oils, I have to buy uh, turpentine because um, I need the brushes to be clean. And again, I'm just sort of playing with oils and learning a little bit about them. And that's why I'm using student grade. But for my acrylics, it's tried and true. I went to school with acrylics. I'm very confident with acrylics. So I'm using higher quality stuff. So um, again, I'm using the liquidy stuff and bringing liquid medium with my heavy body acrylics. And the reason why I would do that is simply for color um, so that I can create more smooth texture on my canvases. Otherwise it doesn't spread that easily. If you were using primed canvas, then the heavy body would spread just fine. But because again, I'm using raw, it's not that easy to use. So that's why I go through a bottle of this very, very often, maybe twice a month, maybe more. 
Um, so that, that covers it. Um, those are my favorite paint supplies that I work with. Um, highly recommend just asking yourself where you're at when it comes to your artwork and if you're ready to make that investment. Um, I think most artists should, but the timing is totally up to you and where you're at with your art career. Um, don't be afraid to play. Uh, they also range in pricing. So if you're wanting to try Golden Out, they do have smaller bo uh, bottles and different sort of liquid and textures and um, different colors cost less just because it doesn't take as much pigment to make them. And maybe they're just more of a primary color. So definitely encourage you to try it out um, and let me know what you think. Comment below, like, share this with anyone who's looking to change up their supplies. Subscribe if you don't wanna miss a beat and I will respond to each of your comments. Um, I can't wait to hear about your experience using these paints and what you prefer. I'm always looking for new tips. So I'll talk to you guys soon and thanks for checking this out. Bye.